Transformative is a series of short films that try and explain the history of fashion photography as seen from the perspective of the stylist, the makeup artist and the hairdresser. So who was the first photographer of importance you worked with? Or importance in your life, I'm not saying. Importance in my life. Um, I worked with a lot of, I mean, I worked with a lot of people like, like John Bishop and Neil Kirk and Tony McGee. Yeah, the sort of British crowd of the photographers. The British crowd of photographers. And I worked with Terry Donovan. Yeah. I didn't work with Bailey. I didn't work with Bailey until much later, but I worked with Terry a lot because, because I worked with British folk, just doing little jobs for British folk yeah. from quite early on. I was filling in for Kerry Warren, actually. Kerry was the star oh, and, uh, yeah. he, and, and is and, and, and deservedly so and, and still is. And um, I would assist Kerry sometimes or do a job if he couldn't do it and, and um, worked, got to work with... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I did a job with Grace early on with um, Toscani, which was right. kind of great, you know? Yeah, probably not around that time. I do think it's you. That was Mr. Penn, wasn't it? Yeah, That's that great, was yeah. Mr. Penn, and that we shot that in Paris. Okay. And if I remember correctly, the editor would have been um, Andrea Robinson Quinn. Right. And is that? I think that's Katusha, the, the the famous model. Um, and we were shooting Couture in Paris. Yeah. Glorious dress, actually. It was amazing. It's amazing. It looks like it's Ungaro or something. Yeah, that's is it? I don't know. I can't read it on here. We'll find out. And um, it, we, we did a shoot in Paris with Katusha, Cindy, Christy, and an English girl. I can't remember her name, and I never, I think it was the, one of the only shoots she ever did, a lovely black English girl from Manchester. And I think that was it, yeah. Okay, tell me the so and Kevin O'Quan was on makeup. So what date is this roughly? I'd say that was eighty seven. Okay. I'm not gonna say where we're right or It was pre Anna Winter okay. uh, American Vogue. And so this is American Vogue Couture sittings in Paris. Mm -hmm. Um how long was the shoot roughly? Oh, we were shooting I, I it was a few days, I can't remember exactly. It was probably three or four days. But we were shooting all night because, because of the it, in those days yeah. the couture meant night shoots because the dresses were going from there was one of each dress and yeah. it was going from well there's there still kind of is, is a bit yeah, like that yeah. um it was going from shoot to shoot to shoot not all the shoots were in paris one would be somewhere else i mean yeah. it, it wasn't unusual for a, for a dress to arrive in new york um the day after the collections for a chanel dress to arrive really? on the beach in East Hampton on Concord. Excellent. So it was the days of kind of waiting for dresses. Yeah. So you think it was a sort of four day shoot. And just tell me a little bit about the process of, of that. Are you very present on set when that, when that picture is being taken? How's the, how, when you're working with Mr. Penn or when you were working with Mr. Penn, how was the session? Was, was, it, was he very active, very quiet? Can you tell me a little he, bit about that? Mr. Penn was very quiet. He was very polite. He was yeah. very mannered and um, very charming, lovely, and um, but you know, confident, right? And um, as you would expect, and very old school, um, yeah. polite, mannerly. So everything was, everything was had an order, you know. Yeah. So how? Did so there was no misbehaving. There was no singing okay. and dancing at the back of the set. Was the music? Uh, there was no music. No, really? no. Um, how did the day start? Would you get a brief from him or a brief from the fashion editor? How would, would it be a sort of meeting um, to start the day? How would, a, how would a shoot like that start off? That, a shoot like that would start, I mean, you'd start, you'd, you'd go to work and, yeah. and you'd be there to make some great images. And it would, would, be, he, would he come and brief you? Would Mr. Penn come and say, okay, Sam, well, today I'm trying to do something that's a bit African inspired or a little bit, you know, what, what, what would, how would you know to start that hair like that? Something from him or, or from you? Um, I think at the time, oh God, I can't remember now. I think those particular shoots, he was using a particular light where the hair looked great when yeah. it was a little bit spiky and a little bit see-through. Right. And he, he, he always liked something that was very graphic. Yeah. He, he kind of responded to, yeah. at that time, when I worked with him quite a few times, he, he responded to something that was very graphic. And that was kind of the look of the moment. It was the very sort of, um, high glamour, yeah. US Vogue, sort of a little bit, um, I, you know, 
a little bit structured, a little bit sculptural. Um, so there was a graphic element to it. And how many images would you go for in a day? Is it sort of two or three or ten? What's the sort of day? Um, God, I can't remember now. I think we probably used to do half a dozen pictures in a day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and was he very fast when he worked? Was it sort of half an hour per shot or five minutes or three hours? Or Because there are some photographers who will just click, 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 click. I'm not sure we'll talk about them. And it's over very fast. And some photographers who you'll know will go on and on and on. Yeah. I think uh, with him, it was it, when he knew, when he knew he had got where it was going, that was it. Right. You know? Right. And did you feel very much that you were on the same level as him? Did you feel it was a sort of very strong hierarchy? Did you feel included in the, in the creative process? Or did you offer your, your, your hairstyle, your art mm. to him and that was it? Or was it well, I worked, I, Kevin and I worked with uh, Andrea, who was the editor, who was, she was actually the beauty editor. We worked and we did a lot of beauty stuff with her before. Yeah. Um, we worked together to get the look. Right. And then we'd present that to him on set. Yeah. And if he didn't like it, he would just say, this is not this uh, this doesn't work for me yeah can we change it yeah and it wasn't it wasn't any kind of um if he didn't like it we we, we changed it that yeah. was it yeah. i mean i had been on a shoot with him once before we didn't like anything he didn't like the clothes and said he couldn't shoot any of it and and so yeah. the whole thing had to be cancelled and then rethought out you know really? what do you think it was that he couldn't like or didn't like i don't know what, what i mean i think was his kind I, of um I mean, I he's, he was. I mean, this this period, it's, it is very graphic. What he's produced, yeah. super graphic. Yeah. He did all the stuff with uh, Missy Miyake. Yes. It's around the sort of yeah. it's I did graphic. a story with him. I worked on a story with him, which was, I think it was one of my first times I'd worked with him, um, with Isabel Townsend, who is a really beautiful, half English, half Belgian girl, yeah. um, and it was the first collections of the Japanese. Yeah. That, that went big, so I guess that would have been 83. Yeah. And it, it was Miyaki, Yoji, Com, yeah. and it was myself and Linda Cantello, and Linda did yellow lips and blue eyes and blue eyes, uh, blue lips and yellow eyes, and we had these sort of big scarves wrapped around, sort of hair falling out of them. Um, and Mr. Penn had Is Isabel doing very, very, those kind of isimiyaki graphic shapes, yeah. which ran as a big story in American Vogue, which was quite, at the yeah. time, it was very, very different to what else was happening out there. Yeah. Was, were those the pictures that were sort of very quite dark in skin color and sort of... Sort yeah, of the, the, there were the gray background, very sort of yeah. wide graphic shapes. Yeah. yeah. 